If you're using the Google Maps platform on your website, you might need an API key. Sounds technical? Don't worry, it's actually super simple. An API key is basically a unique string of characters, kind of like a password that lets your website connect with Google Maps securely. In this quick tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to generate your Google Maps API key step by step. Start by going to the Google Maps platform and sign in with your Google account. Once you're in, Google will ask you to agree to their terms of service, just accept it and continue. Now, if you don't already have a project set up, Google will prompt you to create one. Give your project a name, hit create and you're good to go. Next, from the quick access menu, click on API and services and look for Maps JavaScript API. This is the version you will need for websites. If you're building for Android or iOS, those options are available too. But for most people watching this, it will be JavaScript. Click enable and you'll be taken to the next stream. Because this is a new account, Google will now ask you to set up billing information. Don't panic, you won't be charged unless you manually upgrade to a paid plan. The card is just to verify you're not a bot. Here's a quick trick though. If you want to skip entering your billing info for now and test things first, you can. Just delete these lines from the URL and press enter. That will drop you back into the project dashboard, no billing required. Now to get your API key, click the hamburger menu in the top left. Go to APIs and Services, then click Credentials, select Create Credentials, choose API Key, and just like that, you've got your key. Copy it and save it somewhere safe. Before you paste it into your website, I recommend one extra step restricting the key. This prevents others from misusing it and keeps it secure. Click Edit API Key, scroll down to Application Restrictions, and choose Websites. Then enter your domain, something like yourwebsite.com, and save changes. And that's it. Your API key is ready, restricted to your site and safe to use. If you ever need to access it again, just head to APIs and Services, click on Credentials and your key will always be listed there. Before we wrap up, here are quick answers to common questions that I get. First, will Google charge you automatically if you go over $200 plus monthly free credit? No, you're completely safe until you manually upgrade to a paid plan. Nothing gets charged without your approval. Now, if your map shows for development purposes only and the console says billing isn't enabled, well, that's because billing isn't enabled. Even during development, Google Maps APIs require billing to be active. You won't get charged unless you go beyond the free usage, but billing still needs to be turned on. If you're also planning to use the Google Places API, you don't need to generate a new key. Just go to the same project, search for Places API and click Enable and that's it. And lastly, if you see the error billing not enabled map error, it means you've created the API key but haven't linked it to a billing account yet because of the hack that we used earlier. Head to the billing section in your cloud console, connect your project and that error will disappear. That's everything you need to get your Maps API key up and running. I've included all the links you need in the pinned comment below so you can jump right in. If you found this helpful, give it a like and a subscribe for more quick how-tos and I'll see you in the next one. Click here if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Click here and I'll see you there.